Today we're going to show you how to fix your water in case it starts to smell like sulfur. Especially if you have a well, there's bacteria in the water that when it gets hot, start to act up and then on your hot side, you'll start to smell a uh, foul smell, it smells like a sewer, it smells like sulfur, uh, it's not pleasant. Really easy to fix is to put hydrogen peroxide into the water, just a little bit. You only need about half of one of these bottles, if that. I just put a small amount in and every month or two and that will fix it. Um, you just have to do it depending on when you think there's a problem. Um, there's other bigger fixes that are more complicated that will last longer than a couple months. Uh, but for this example, I'm just gonna show you a simple thing I did early on that would allow me to put the uh, hydrogen peroxide in without a big hassle. So first thing you gotta do is turn off the water to the hot water heater. Here I got a, in, a valve going in. I'm just going to turn that off. And then you want to create a negative pressure inside the tank. And I do this with my drain valve here. I just put some simple PVC in a bucket. And if I open up this drain valve, that's it. Just a little bit of pressure comes out. And now all the pressure inside the water heater is a negative pressure. So if I open up a valve up top, then it'll suck water in. So one thing you can do is take this hot water, like an overboiling switch here that they all have, and you can put on what I did, I just put a little adapter here, got a Home Depot, and just put some tubing, and then you could use this as an inlet for you to take that hydrogen peroxide and just put your bottle up underneath this tube and then suck them in. You can take this little piece here and pull it up. I found this to be problematic though because by opening and closing that I got some corrosion in there and then it started to leak. So I don't want to mess with this valve. I don't want to mess with it at all. I don't want it leaking. I don't want it causing me any problems. So I put my own valve in. It's pretty easy. All this stuff's available at a box store, Lowe's or Home Depot. And all I had to do was disconnect my out, my water coming out through this part here on this hose here. I just unconnected that and I bought this T, this part right here. Make sure you get the brass fittings that don't have lead so they're suitable for drinking. I bought a little nipple adapter in here. Oh, get this focused. And I bought a valve on and off right here. Another plastic adapter so that I could get my plastic hose on here. And now I got a short, you know, foot long piece of plastic hose. So when it comes time for me to want to fix my water, all I got to do is take some of this hydrogen peroxide and I'll pour it in here so you can get a visual for it. And I don't have a heck of a lot in here. But it doesn't take much to do it, to fix it. So then what I do, try to hold the camera here, is I'll just put the tube into the bottom of the hydrogen peroxide, like so. Hold that with one hand. And then with the other hand, I'll just lift that valve, that valve, and it'll open up the vacuum and it'll suck that in real fast. See if I can prop this up to show you. And that's it. And you can hear that down in my drain, when I opened up that valve, well, for it to suck that water in, it had to let some out. So it'll flush a little bit of water out, which is fine. You're not gonna lose all the hydrogen peroxide that you just put in. You're just gonna lose a little bit of water at the bottom of the tank. So now you got hydrogen peroxide in the system there and you'll notice an immediate improvement in the, in the taste, not taste, but in the smell of the water. Immediately, you will not have that problem. And it doesn't take much, like I said, I only use probably typically half of one of these containers. And these only cost about 88 cents at CVS or at a grocery store. In this case, I get it from a grocery store. Very cheap. Uh, longer term fix, look at my other video that shows you how to add an anode rod that's made out of 
different materials so that it doesn't break down and cause that sulfur smell. And it's available on this same channel. Thanks. Please subscribe if you want to figure out how to fix other things. If you live in a rural area, I'm running into these things all the time and I'm trying to document them and help people out. Have a great time. Bye.